Hello. Happy Monday, 4th of July. Happy Monday. How are you? I hope you're well. Let's do a Sagittarius reading. Sagittarius. How are you getting? Yeah, 4th of July. Just love those firecrackers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, not really, not at all, not at all. They disturb the wildlife so much, but uh, that's just my preference. I won't, I won't uh, burden you with it. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. All my decks are pre-shuffled. Just align it to the sign, Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. Let's do an A card spread. Where you are. This is where you are. Hmm. Let's do, and we have three realities. Beautiful. And let's do three blessings. Blessings. And then possible outcome. Bottom of the deck. Six of Pentacles. Can you see all this? Let me make sure you can see everything. Kind of, sort of, yes. How's that? Is that better? There we go. I'm going to walk you through this anyway. So this is where you are right now, Sagittarius. Uh, Seven of Cups in reverse. Not feeling like... Mm, the short way of saying it would be not feeling like you have a lot of options. The, the longer context, the greater context to that would be um, not quite feeling stuck, but kind of committed. Um, It's as if you're being contained. As if you're being contained. I don't want to say controlled because that's too strong of a word. But you're feeling some kind of way of... Um, Fourth of July theme. Um, missing your freedom. Mm. It's not like you want to throw everything up in the air and run away. It's... It's just this feeling of where is this time there that I felt like I could have um, I don't want to like you you could do what you want when you wanted to and that's uh, it sounds a bit um, forgive me childish but there is a maybe you are missing that aspect of um, childhood. Maybe you're, you're, you're tired of adulting. Sagittarius, is, could that be it? Are you tired of adulting? You just feel like, oh, the day after day after day, I have so many things that um, people are counting on me to do. And hmm. that's where you are right now. It, more realities. The world in context with this, Eight of Cups and King of Cups. A lot of emotion here. Yeah, here's here's where it's as if, okay. It's as if the world is on your shoulders. It, you're almost, you're like, I, I don't know how long I can sustain this. I feel like I've lost um, some of my joy. And the King of Cups, it's, it's this feeling of wanderlust. Lust is in there somewhere. Wanderlust. Okay. Yeah. Are you due for a vacation, Sagittarius? 
Are you overdue for a vacation? It, yeah, it seems, it seems like you just, so much is on your shoulders. This is, this is a lot. This is a lot. It makes sense. Um, three blessings. Let's go to that Ace of Wands. Oh, we do have, so we have Emotion and Fire. Knight of Wands. Ace of Wands, Knight of Wands, and the Hanged Man in Reverse. Um, this is a generalized reading. It won't be for everyone. But it, it seems like this is uh, someone who maybe you, you thought of an old flame or someone contact you, has contacted you from... Um, from your past and, it can, and wants to connect with you. I'm, I'm feeling a great flirtation. I'm feeling like someone is, is <laughs> um, bringing you a message of like a, a flirty message. And um, you, you might be, you might be receptive to this. And I, I, if you're already with in a committed relationship, I'm not suggesting that you would cheat um, or go out of that mess, you know, that um, contract. But the the fact that so many things have been on your shoulders for so long, and that you have just maintained and done what you're supposed to do. This flirtation comes at a great time. It reminds you that you are alive and that you are viable and that you are attractive. The hangman in reverse. I love that too. Because you have been just, maybe I could say you have been burdened. You've been burdened with, um, have to do, should do, must do, ought to do's, that your perspective has been skewed. It, it's almost as if, you know, this is my life now. This is my life now. This is what I can expect. However, here they come. And they stir in some passion and, and remind you. The Hierophant in reverse, and Torian energy. Yeah, uh, <laughs> those things that have been held in tradition that have, you know, been set in place because they're, they're written in cement might not be what you take as your truth right now. You might be looking for a liberating moment, Sagittarius. And you know what? Um, you're a human being and you just... There is nothing wrong with having hopes, dreams, goals. And the fact that you have been very uber responsible and taking care of not just yourself, but it seems like a lot of people count on you. What this is going to do is, is create more of a fair existence. So yeah, you're not going to give up work. You're not going to give up what you have to do, must do, should do, you know, that should, should, ought to do stuff. However, this is going to bring you, I don't want to say back to life, but it's going to remind you that there, you have to have a balanced, I would almost like to see the Libra card, um, justice, just to have those balanced scales. But this at least will give a fair, fair shake to both of what you ought to do and maybe what you would like to do. Sagittarius, I'm very curious. Um, please leave a comment and let me know. This is a generalized reading. It's not possible that it would, it would connect with every Sagittarius. But for this Sagittarius, I want to say you have, you have really taken a lot on and 
sacrificed. You have sacrificed a lot of, I don't want to be too dramatic. You have sacrificed a bit of your joy to take care of situations. And um, the universe is reminding you that you are a, a living person with, with hopes, dreams, and um, a little flirtation. Okay, please like and subscribe and please take care of yourselves. Okay, bye-bye.